Okay, so what was I doing? Um, oh, we were running from pirates, and now we're exploring. Oh, sorry, we just uh, found a black hole, found a research station, picked up some blueprints, some other stuff. And now we're just exploring a little bit, aren't we? Yeah, we're going on to the next system over there. Okay, so, off we go. He lost the nemesis. What'd you do that for? Derelict ship, first order class carrier. Ah, we haven't seen these guys yet. First order is a new faction for me in the Star Wars mod. It's been put in in the last couple of months since I was switched over to X4 on Saturdays. Explore. So that's it. No. It's not too beat up. Oh, it is actually. So come on, you pansy, get back in there and fight. So much for the Tom Falk Classics Escort Carrier. So it is six medium energy, eight small energy, four fighter bays. It's actually has stuff on it too. So I think we'll recover this. to two phoenix shields but nemesis are less vulnerable uh, and therefore it died well, okay so that now we're gonna be under heat stuff so for the time being we're gonna keep that thing in mothball so that doesn't affect our stuff oh, i'm just saying grab about this I'll we'll worry about fixing this one up too until we get back to the station. Okay, so a little bit more exploration. I don't think there's any planets here unless it's right underneath that jump point. And it was. But still, nothing really here. But we'll just uh, survey this so we know we've been here in the future. If we come back this way. And that. Let's see. So, nothing really here as kind of expected when you don't see any planets from the outside. Let's go check out these two systems down here. Don't go through this uh, slipstream. Everyone's picking on the Empire. I guess we should try to like... Well, we don't really have a fleet to really help them though. That's the problem. So, remnants. That is a medium danger level. We'll go check that out after we look at this, which apparently is not going to be anything here either. Because I've blown all three of your engines out, but can't break the shields. <laughs> how, did, how does that happen exactly? Nothing. He's patrolling. We want to kill him because we want the experience. Can't talk to him. Drop the station. Drones blow up with engines. Build the station. Repair engines with drones. Didn't make it. And back out we go. I forgot to put the shields up. 
so I'm glad. I forgot to put shields back or up on this uh, this uh, victory when we jumped in there. So how bad do we think this is going to be? Medium danger level. Let's see. They're patrolling. Some sensor array. Yeah, we got stuff in here. Sensor contact. What's over here? Supply stuff. Get all the drones in there. Stuff, body parts. Hmm, they're dormant. Can we beat them up? I bet we can. It's a two cruisers, it's a drone ship, a carrier, a carrier. Those are. Go. Engage. Can't zoom out far enough. Lancer's gonna die because he's stupid. Pretends it's a little brave. Go, Neutron Star. Getting his butt kicked there, or at least his shields were, but he still took that guy out. Yeah, beam weapon's still the bane of fighters. Got out of range with 20 hull left. Not pushing it, are you? Oh, shit. Kill him. Oh, uh, now he's in trouble. Well, maybe not. Only phantoms. Get him, Lancer. You can take him. Eh, now it's over. Station has 40 of 140 drones left. 
kill them all. Son of the auto post laser. Heavy burst, heavy blasters, ion beams. So, the auto post laser is still pretty good. You can fit them onto something. Loot, more loot. Okay, I'm sure the remnants appreciate me visiting them. Uh-oh, saving. I for, I meant to uh, restart the game at the break time. When it starts saving this slow, it's uh, time to restart the game. Which went actually pretty quick today, if I remember right. Usually it goes, takes about five or six hours before we get to this point, but really depends how, many, how much fighting we've done. Which we've done a fair amount, I think. And we get people to level up too. So, what we'll do is we'll level up the, our little captains and then we'll restart the game real quick. Just a second. Actually, no. We'll level up the guys after we get back. Otherwise, we have to save before we quit out. Okay, so exit. And quit. Again, this is just a, yeah, this is a little bit of a memory link. Probably related to the mods, more than likely. So, that should be enough. Again, this game is developed in Java, which is amazing. <laughs> that they actually put in the effort to develop the game in Java. Uh oh, now it's taking a while to respond. I was playing with the camera, that's why I went gray there for a second. The game doesn't want to start. What the hell? Just a second. Okay. I exited normally. What's the deal? Okay. Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Knee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Yep, thank you for watching. Happy Saturday. You can see Mickey and Rocket sleeping hard there on the camera. Okay, though. So we're just restarting the game because uh, it was taking too long to save. So that means it's usually time to restart the game, which we just did. And now we're good to go. Okay, we just won a battle against some remnants. And we need to level up a couple of our captains. So you're in the frigate there. Uh, what do we want? Target analysis, missile specialization. So missile weapon, so more capacity doesn't matter to us, but the missiles have more hit points, so they're harder to shoot down. Uh, target analysis, uh, shoot. Um, more damage. And then you and the Arquitans. You must deal up to 30% more damage at close range based on that, so close range being 600 or closer. Helmsmanship, so speed, target. 
Flux dissipation. Probably should pick that on the other one too. I thought I had already though. He's got ordnance, he's got ordnance. Oh, they did. Okay, so we're all set. We all have it. And we also picked up a couple of ships while we were out here. A tanker, fuel tanker, and then this uh, first order escort carrier. It's basically a ton falk as far as uh, how many fighters and stuff it carries. Looks like it's got a few more hard points to play around with as far as weapons go. It's got a probe droid too. Deploy probe droids to capture a battle objective. Okay. Ganga Spike, welcome back. Happy Saturday. Okay, so we're all set here. Saving, that's the way it's supposed to go, much faster. Okay, so we are in a remnant system, and that's probably their planet out there, nice little tundra world. First, we're gonna go stop by this sensor array and capture it for ourselves or pillage it. I think we'll pillage it. We're doing, we just came out this way. We were running from somebody. <laughs> we just ended up out here and uh, we're just exploring a little bit because there's actually a couple of chest systems out here. Regular salvage. In the counter, total time rocket slept during stream. Well, that's kind of hard to keep track of though because he does get up and move quite a bit. And how would you actually work a timer like that? It'd have to be a stop and go, and I have to be paying attention. That requires more watching the stream, or watching the camera, than it does actually doing anything else. Oh, look at all this stuff. Oh, there's a hail. Answer the hail. I ship a ship. God, we're done whatever stuff. Make a trade. You give us supplies in exchange, we'll give you some fuel. Thanks again. Hold an additional 1,035 units of fuel. Uh, no. Bring your Veronica to watch the dog instead of doing her nails. She doesn't have nails to do. That's awfully racist of you to say that, by the way. You know, being a human and her being an AI, that's the ultimate racism, I believe. Applying, projecting your little uh, view of her, what she's supposed to be. <sighs> so, so sad. Anyway, survey. And this is a very nice planet to colonize we choose to do so but let's uh, consider other factors no nope. we shall to explore the ruins stuff is it gonna be Christmas time maybe heard fat shaming too probably In ear monitoring algorithm. If ear twitches and dog is considered awake, but if if there was a fly buzzing it, what? Ear monitoring. Ear twitching does not mean they're awake though. It could be they could be dreaming. Trust me, after many years of watching these dogs sleep, just because their ears twitching doesn't mean they're awake. It usually means they're dreaming. We built an outpost down here, can we? Oof. Oh no, so we got the metal. We got the heavy. We got the. Okay, we can build an outpost here. We will build an outpost. There's Zog outpost. That works for me. Bone dreaming, chasing squirrels, chasing lizards, barking at cats. Could be almost anything. Those guys are pursuing me now. Two cruisers, multiple destroyers, maybe. Get 
a warning beacon. What's this game about? This game is about uh, flying around in space trying not to get run over by... No, just kidding. Um, what is this game about? It's pretty much what you want it to be about. There is a storyline to it that they've uh, introduced to the game a few updates back. Um, but it's mainly just doing what you want to do. I mean, you can basically have a... You start off with a ship or two, depending on your initial game settings or what you want how what you want to do and then you can choose to be a merchant you can be a pirate you can hunt pirates you can you know do whatever the hell you feel like doing there's factions to deal with some of them don't like you some of them do uh, but you can work on your reputation with those guys to so make the ones that don't like you you can try to make them like you you know you can do that kind of stuff um, and this is just a vanilla game if you introduce mods that you know can all change but um you know, you, you, you can customize your ship with what kind of weapons does it have based on its hard points and that kind of thing. Um, and you can have their ships of various sizes ranging from in this. There's four sizes of ships in this game. We got frigates, destroyers, cruisers and capital ships. And there's space stations, too, that uh, usually just, you know, floating around um, uh, or orbiting uh, colonies, and that kind of stuff. It's it's. <laughs> It's hard to say what this game is about because there, there's a lot of stuff you can do. And it's very, you know, sandboxy. You, you're free to do what you want to do. It can be a little harsh here and there because there's uh, resource management you have to worry about. Like you have to keep your ships supplied and they need fuel. That's not the same thing. They need crew. Um, crew dies in combat sometimes. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. You have fighters and bombers that you can put on some ships that are carrier like or have carrier like features. Um, that kind of stuff, and when you're when you're when your fighter when your fighters and bombers get shut down shot down, it kills you know usually members of your crew in the process. So you know, got all that kind of stuff. Um, and again, again, introducing mods, you know, ch can change stuff up quite a bit. So but no, it's it's a good game, and it's a uh, relative. It's pretty cheap too. If you'd uh, need a link to uh, where you can buy it, it's not available on Steam or GOG or anywhere else is only available directly from the devs and if you need a link just type in exclamation point star sector all one word I should probably put that in the stream title shouldn't I but uh, yeah how's that for an answer do you need more now we're gonna do some combat here so move into engage da -da -da. now you can have uh, the AI do your fights for you not suggested though and then these guys, so we're going to have him escort him, and you escort him, and you escort me. And of course you can see it's a two-dimensional, it's not three-dimensional uh, game, but uh, things flying around, those are fighters and bombers, so these two ships are kind of like carriers, and you see these little dotted lines that's showing the, the firing angles of the oh, missile yeah. launchers on this particular ship. This is flying out. And there's different weapon types. You can see there's lasers, there's missiles, there's ballistic weapons as well. Did I put my shields up? Yes, I did. See, that guy's getting beat up by fighters and missiles. This guy's trying to beat me up for whatever reason. Die already. So he's down, you're next. And weapons have firing angles and that kind of fun stuff too. I think the enemy is dead because remnants don't technically retreat. Usually. I don't, think, I don't think I've had remnants retreat. I think they fight to the end. Remnants are uh, rogue AIs. And you get loot afterwards. Again, there's your supplies. You need that for uh, keeping the ships up and running. Fuel, of course, from getting from point A to point B. And heavy machinery that's used for usually um, 
What is it? It's used for surveying or salvaging. I forget what it's exactly. It's used for stuff. And then you got other types of resources out there like metals and different types of metals and food and whatever. So you can actually be a, a merchant if you really want to, too. You know, talk about remnants in case they come and take you away in the middle of the night. But that's why we want to take talk to them or talk about them. And then after combat, you can uh, salvage the area. There was nothing there, though, apparently. No, it's not here. Kitchen with salvage this may not be easy to get to, and there's significant risk involved in running a salvage operation. That's fine. 93% chance of effectiveness, though. Some stuff. And this is what we're salvaging from the, the fight of the battle we just had. And we just did establish a col uh, not a colony, an outpost on this planet. Because we're going to probably come back and colonize this planet later on at some point. It's a pretty good planet. So we could establish a colony, but we don't really have uh, the resources for that, I don't think. No, we don't. Not on us. Okay, so... Oh yeah, we leveled up. And then you have leveling up too. Your main character gets uh, skill points to spend on stuff. Normally it's limited to uh, how many you can spend. I think it's like 15 or 20 out of 40. But there's a mod to make it so you can get all of them if you want. <laughs> I use the mod because I want as many as I can get. Um, cargo capacity, fuel capacity, personnel capacity. Resources, but not rare items such as blueprints recovered from abandoned stations has increased. Post battle salvage as well. Crew lost in non combat operations. We probably picked that up. I also want to do something here. All combat ships do more dam com weapon damage for combat ships. Effectiveness of ground operations, marine casualties are reduced. Nav rating. Sounds all frigates and destroyers get bonuses to stuff with officers. Combat rating is for combat ships for stuff. Uh, Oh, if we do CMP damage taken, would be nice. No, oh, terrain movement doesn't slow us down as much. And maximum power, we need that. We need to fly faster. Okay, see if any of our captains leveled up. You did in the Arquitans. Damage control, better shields. Better shields. And you can retrain them, use, they have story points which uh, can use for many different things, including making these guys level up a little bit faster. You can mentor them, you can change their behavior a little bit, and, um, or you can sometimes retrain them entirely. Once they are, I don't know, why is he uh, able to be retrained? Oh, because he's max level, that's why. He's already at level five. Yeah, he's fine the way he is. Okay, so that's our current fleet. There's our actual outpost. So, there's a colony. So we can. This outpost is producing the stuff for us. We have to buy it, but it's there for us to use. And I'm not sure if this is a, uh, I think that's a buy, uh, buy later, buy now, pay later thing, as in you pay at the end of the month, AKA credit. Anybody here? Nobody's here. Again, it's only a little outpost. And it'll, it'll produce uh, supplies and fuel for us, hence outpost. But it's not an actual colony. And we also have a monthly income going on because we're currently working for the Empire. 
Where'd that remnant fleet go? There's one behind us, I think. And what are we hunting these guys for? Because we can. Trying to run away. So, cruiser, some smaller ships, shouldn't be a problem. And you can give orders to you. you know, go from the screen, you can give orders. I want you to attack them, or this one. We want fighters to attack this one using the strike command. You don't have to do this. They will operate on their own. But um, if you want them to be a little bit more precise. I'm not saying they're going to be precise, just a little bit more precise. They will attempt to carry out your orders. But sometimes they get distracted. Star Wars fighters are pretty strong, for the most part. They nerfed them a little bit, but or sorry, not nerfed, adjusted, because they were really strong, but they've been toned down a little bit. The enemy has died. More stuff. More salvage. So much stuff. This a minor equipment cache. So again, you find stuff floating around sometimes too out in the middle of nowhere. Sometimes it's really useful, and sometimes not so much. But there's a little blueprint, eradicator, fast cruiser. Overlook by history, the eradicator class cruiser features powerful dual engine nacelles. So that's not a Star Wars ship, but that's okay. Still a blueprint. And then a drone ship. This is one of the ships we just killed. Now, if we were able to, uh, uh, you have to pick up one of the skills is to let you uh, loot drone ships. It was a recovery of some automated ships, such as derelict drones. Automated ships can only be captained by AI cores. So if you get this skill, you can plug, there's AI cores that you find <laughs> through various ways, and you can plug them into a ship, and that's basically the captain for that ship. But until you have that skill, you can only just salvage the ships, which we just did. Okay, supplies. Now we got another fleet coming in. They're looking for us. Good thing we found them. Okay, so the neutron star is a little needs a little bit of a rest, so we'll let him sit the, out this fight. And this should be fine. Attacking target. So, we don't really need the Neutron Star. Their beam weapon is not terribly effective against our shields for the most part. But deadly to the fighters if they fly their own for some reason. It's just the way it works. At least the, well, I should say, the smaller beam weapon is not so dead, dangerous to fighters, but the, on the bigger ships they can be. Oh, this guy's over here. And we just change our camera over here real quick. We're just watching this. We can't, uh, we're not taking control of the ship. We could if we wanted to, but we don't want to. Yeah, 
Hey, where'd Rocket go? Oh, he's in here. <laughs> I just noticed he left the camera on. There's a slight delay because it's a wireless camera, so there's like a couple of second delay between what we see on the, on the camera between real life and stuff. So I see him get up and walk on, and I go, where's Rocket going to turn and coming down the hallway? Uh. Okay, so, all set, all set. I think we've pretty much cleaned this system out, I think. Because this was, the, basically the remnants were protecting, or whatever, the system. There's a warning beacon. We still have something over here. Looking at the little radar in the lower right hand corner. There's a little blip right around in this area. There it is. Oh, a mining station. Now, unfortunately, can we store stuff at the outpost? I think we can. More than likely, this, out, this station is going to give us so much junk. you know, mining station. That's not that bad. Base Delta Zero. Base Delta Zero was the naval code to the order of the surface destruction of your planetary target by orbital bombardment. Increases the effective strength of planetary raids by blah blah blah. Depending on hull size, up to the total number of marines in the fleet reduces the fuel cost of orbital bombardment by 100. So that's related to a mod that we're using. Thank you more salvage. Let's see how much are we going to be over? Not a lot, it looks like. So that, that. So we're going to. Do... Yeah, we're not that much over, but it's going to cause us to use more supplies. We're not really using that much. And then we get to. Uh, we broke down the station. Now we get to pick up even more stuff. Now that's going to put us over a little bit, maybe. Yeah, 23 supplies a day. We're running out of 1,000. And wasn't there a gate around here somewhere? Oh yeah, the black hole has a gate in it. So we can go up to the black hole. Go back to where we want to go. Or we can just sell stuff over here. I don't really want to pick up a lot of chess technology though. There's the gate. Now to get us pretty much exactly where we want to go. So another fleet flying around. <laughs> I don't know where they're coming from, but... We'll be back eventually. Oh, I didn't even see the brain fight. Or, sorry, the boss fight. Uh, don't go that way, please. Hey, Valisar, welcome back, by the way. No, I don't think about it. Piranha without a machine gun, not enough machine gun ammo. I think we've seen you already. No, we have not. That's number 11 on your bingo card, number 11. We still need one more winner for the bingo, and then we'll start up a new game. He looks like you feel tired. You know, he's a little bit older than you. He's got an excuse to look like that. You're 40. How old is he? Well, he's 15 in, dog, in human years, but that makes him what? In dog years? Approximately 6 to 7 years per, per year. Six to seven dog years per human year. So figure he's, you know, he's up there. Of course, Mickey is too. They're brothers. Uh, 
This is where we want to go. Yep, that's where we want to go. You can tell how old he is too. He's all—he's got a whole—he's all gray. Now we're going over to the station because we have a some ships stashed in there. Oops, sorry. Got to turn on my transponder on. Paranoia. And now we can sell this stuff for the Yugu. Sell that, sell this, done that. Flash up the seat on me. So, I'm not going to use this stuff. The only thing I think we picked up that we might actually use is that auto pulse laser. Oh, we went. No, we can't because it's a large item, isn't it? Yeah, we can't use that on any, any of our ships. So we'll sell it. And transmutonics don't need those either. Can't sell that yet. For supplies, ouch, that's expensive. So, black market, I'll get rid of the body parts. A little bit of money there. Heavy armor. Mm, let's probably grab that while we have. Can. Oh, I bought that on the black, from the black market, didn't I? Oops, that's okay. Crew, how are we doing on crew? We're over. We're good. Again, explode supplies are almost double normal price. So I'll wait on that. Any good ships here? The answer would be no. Black market, no. Anybody higher? Of course not. And who ordered the cadet to apprehend you? What's this about? The unique talents, there is no drink on the table. We need an agent ex extracted from a colony. I'm not doing that. I don't have the marines. What about you? Same difference. I just six been off this weekend. Might have anyone looking to pick it up? Yeah, there it's it's sixty percent off because they um officially released on consoles today or Xbox or something or this week one of those things oh the enhanced edition sorry the enhanced edition of the game came out this week too which is like a 2.0 they added some stuff to it hey Gimpy Other have you hydrated lately no if actually, not you I? really should I haven't actually thanks for the reminder You still hesitate to buy it? Why? It only suck up your life. It's not a big deal. Look at officer. What can you do? She's aggressive. Impact mitigation, so better armor. Sure, we'll hire you. I'm getting the food that need to be. Uh, I'm not smuggling anymore. I don't care how much it's worth. I'm not smuggling. It's a pain in the ass. It looks too hard. It's really not. It's just a matter. the The hardest part of the game is just learning how everything works, and learning how to, and being good at reading stuff. Because that's really the hardest part is just making sure you are reading everything you're supposed to be reading and notice everything that comes up on the screen. That's related to building characters and stuff. It's not that hard. 
It just it, it's got a kind of it's got it's got a big learning curve to it. It's not a steep learning curve. It's just a big learning curve. If you know if you know what the difference is. <laughs> Advanced targeting computers. No point defense weapons, though. No. You don't know that already? I'll have to drive. Class 1 hyperdrives. That's what we need. Extended missile racks so doesn't help us. Okay, see so what kind of ships they have here. There's a Quasar. More Aquatens. Anything bigger that we can actually afford? No. Modular Task Force crews. I haven't seen these before. Built by blah blah blah. So what's it got? Ten medium energy, two fighter base. Well, that's an interesting build. Yes, this is a Star Wars mod. Need more money. Somebody lend me a give me a loan. Black market. Pick up a quasar for more fighter support. Quasar suck though. I like Star Wars. You think so? You think so? Hey, Meerkat, bingo vote. Meerkat has started a bingo vote. Uh, go to your bingo cards. Click a number that you need to get closer to bingo, and good luck. Did I get the bundle that just ended? For what? I'm going to guess that. No, I did not. I don't know what bundle you're talking about. Had a bunch of Star Wars pinball games and Lego. Oh, I am not a real big computer pinball person. I prefer to play pinball in real life. As in standing there in front of the machine. Not that the computerized, computerized uh, bingo games suck. I just rather play in real life. And Lego. Uh, I think I have a couple of the Lego games. Already. Need more pinball in your life. I know. I haven't played pinball standing in front of a machine in decades. Okay, so we did this. So fleet. Oh, don't we have some storage? No, we're in the wrong place. I have an extra captain now. We'll put her in there for now. But we're going to mentor her. Mentor. Keep her aggressive. And she gets to do that. The gladiator. Involved out in your 70s and 80s. <laughs> like I said, I haven't played pinball probably since I was probably the early 90s I think it's probably the last time I played actually stood in front of a machine and played so it's been like I said easy 30 years would be it would be my guess and Valisar got bingo so we'll see if anybody else uh, gets bingo in the next minute or so and then we'll start up a new game okay actually when I go down here I forgot to grab the ships that were down in the station weeks ago we have a big I have one arcade here. It has five or six. Ah. See, I don't have any kids, so me showing up in arcade is kind of, you know, looks a little sketchy. <laughs> ah, let's see. Dudes that look like you at ours. Well, again, I, I can't. No, I, I can't do that. That would just it looks wrong. 
Let's see. Take you out. We'll take you. Let those two sit in there for now. Actually, now let's take all these guys out. We'll go put them in a different spot. Standing for a couple hours, you can barely walk. Well, shouldn't do that then. Get out of the asteroid belt. Go that way. storage so that one's going into storage this one's going to storage and we want to get these guys fixed up actually want to get this on mothball too so now we need more crew Still have 200,000 to play around with, so no big deal. Uh, we need more crew, a lot more crew. About four or five hundred more. Five hundred. Okay, so that puts us at 2,000, so a little over 100 more than we need. And the reason we have extra crew is because they're going to die and win fighters, so we're the fly around their fighters. So that's why I want more crew, and we're gonna need more supplies. Good price, so all of it, all of it, it is. And we're good on fuel. Really good on fuel, I think, actually. Okay, so. Just learn that stuff. We'll hold on to this stuff until we get back to Coruscant. That's where we're in our little big storage area. So, okay, so this. We got some refitting to do. Starting with the carrier. Dagger Starfighter, 10 points stuff. Two laser cannons. Oh, two different. Oh, so four laser cannons, but the two of them look like they're probably the bigger version, I think. New cover shuttles, ground support. Meanwhile, also expanded deck crew. Bulkheads. Throw those in there for now. And a few vents so we can do the gun thing if necessary. How many fighters do we have to buy here? Oh, we have the T-Wing from the hunt. Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at GimpyNee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Yep, thanks for watching. Happy Saturday. So this is... I can hold within tractor beam or power stuff, sometimes, whatever. Unlike most combat ships, it's uh, devoted 25% of their power to shields. The shields of a Gamma-class assault shuttle can take up to full 62% of its power. Over half of it uh, directed the ship's front arc. This allowed assault shuttles to withstand heavy damage as they pulled up near hostile ships. But that's actually not what they really do, okay. is it? Hmm. So it's got a tractor beam. Into the mobility of enemy frigates and destroyers in different effect levels. The ship will direct energy to the shield in the meantime. 
500 shields. It's not too bad. Skip, ah, skip rays. What about bombers? Not the longbows, though. High presser, there we go. So you got laser cannon, light of the cannon, dual turbo laser. This is a salvage ship, so he's missing some parts here and there. Some medium energy turrets, um, dual, dual turbo lasers. Mm -hmm. I'll get some up here too. Does that work? Dual turbo laser, and we have one in R. Oh no, that's the open market. See you, Omega. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Put some iron cannons on this thing for fun. Ion cannons coming from a carrier. Buying from the black market, sure, and that won't get me in trouble. Got to catch me. The dual turbo lasers. Oh, and I forgot. Your cat's uh, started another bingo vote. Go to your bingo cards, click a number. You need to remind me to uh, start up a new card. Instead of doing the votes over and over again. You're just throwing your acorns away. I'm going to give him some light turbo lasers instead of these duels. You just did? Did you? No, you didn't. You didn't tell me that it's time to start up a new bingo game. I keep meaning to do that, but I keep forgetting to remind me. You remember once the vote started? <sighs> Not really. <laughs> I can be difficult, you know. You got double bingo. Well, oh, okay. Okay, so he's good. Uh, this one. Autofit, Imperial version. I'm sure he's missing all those parts. There's no way. I was going to say, there's no way we had quads for that. Spherical medium twin turbo laser battery, heavy turbo laser. We're going to have to go get some of those stuff fixed out. Ugh.
Okay, doesn't look like anybody else is getting bingo. So we're going to start a new bingo game now that I'm remembering because somebody reminded me kind of like, uh, you know, weird go about the other way type helping. Anyway, boss side bingo. If you want to play, all you need to do is move your cursor over to the right hand side of the video screen. About halfway down, there's three buttons. One of them is the stream bingo button. Click on it. Join the game. As the boss fights happen, they will determine the numbers called for the bingo cards. If you have any questions how it works, feel free to ask. And remember, it's free. It's legitimately free. Okay, so you. Is there anything else you want to put on him, really? Oh, we got to put hyperdrives on these guys now. We have to go back and put hyperdrives on all our ships. Boss fight. Tubby, did you hear that? There is a boss fight starting. I heard the squirrel is looking for you. Build in this thing. How many points? I've got 18 points, so we can do this. 15 points back that way. Get the hyperdrive in there. So what's the hyperdrive do? Uh, use less fuel and maximum burns level two. So I'm going to see if you get to beat up Vukul's this week. Yeah, Vukul's may or not may or may not make it today because again, it's getting pretty late for him. Like I said, he he felt the the need to play board games was more important than coming to the stream. So what are you going to do? Can't force him. Can mock him though. <laughs> Can mock him. Okay, hyperdrive, six points. And we can put a hyperdrive on this thing. Ban him? No, I don't do that. You can beat him up tomorrow. If he's usually not here on Sundays. Just so you know. He's usually not here on Sundays. Oh, so we're gonna help her try. And Kitten and Squirrel team up killed everyone. Good job, Kitten and Squirrel. You're number six on the bingo card, number six. Pinball bar near you that has 20 tables. Go spend those quarters. Are, pin, are pinball machines still still a quarter or are they still, or do they up the price on them? I guess it's because again, I haven't played one in 30 years. Hey, Michael, welcome back. They're a dollar? Oh, that's ridiculous. A dollar. Group three is linked, so they all the missiles launch at once. That works. These are a dollar. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Dollar to play pinball. That's. What's wrong with the world? What's happened? <laughs> pinball hits a dollar just to play. That's stupid. If you're good at pinball, that can last you a while, but if you suck, that could be a few seconds. Yeah, that's kind of the problem. It usually takes you a little while to learn a game because each one of those games are typically fairly well they kind can be different but it takes a little while to learn a lot of them oh we don't have weapons on this one yet well, what kind of fighter should we put on this thing just a 10 pointer interceptor to advanced sure This 
this one we want the uh, mass drivers. Uh, I'm sorry, this thing's got all kinds of hard points on it. I don't know if we're going to be able to fill this up. Of course we will. we got ion cannons. And this gets the 10 point stuff. Like dual turbo lasers? Sure, I guess. Hyperdrive. Uh, let's do reinforced, I guess. Uh oh. Button. Click the button. Anyway, Kriegs, thank you very much for the resub. 64 months at tier one. 64 months. Kriegs is the longest uh, sub here on Twitch. So thank you, Kriegs. 64 months. He's been subbing since uh, subbing was a thing on this channel. Okay, so, Kriegs. Rockets of Recognition. Each rolling rocket represents 10 rockets of recognition. Why? Because there is a character limit in Twitch chat. Did you know that? Now you do. Anyway, so each rocking, rolling rocket is 10 of the regulars, and there's a Kriegs 64, 64 of them. Oof, it's crazy. Anyway, Kriegs, thank you very much. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, everybody. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Okay, so. Uh, let's see. Five years, you know there was a limit. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, it starts somewhere around, I think it's like 38. If we, if we do each emote, right, it's like 30, because each emote is so many characters. And I think rock, if we, we, I think we can get up to like 38 or 39 rockets in the chat before they get cut off. Because that's, that's all that really happens is they just start, you can get up to a certain part and then you don't see anything after that. Hey, Eric's welcome back. You weren't subbing anything, just supporting. I need a back scratch. Want to do that? That's a support. <laughs> My back, back is really itching. Uh, um, what the hell am I doing? That one's at 14. He's got reinforced bulkheads, hardened subsystems, and a hyperdrive. So I need hardened subsystems on this one too. Oops, wrong thing. Hardened subsystems. So what's the difference? I'm guessing it's the guns themselves. So it's Ion cannons, those guys. Oh. So weapon groups. Use all fire at once. You're linked. Everybody else is alternating. The light duels. I'm trying to figure out where the point difference in these ships are. I mean, this one technically has five more points than the other one, yet that one is lacking. Oh, he's got the light cannons on him, or the 
laser cannons that this one doesn't have. Where are they hiding? Though? There they are. Okay, so we need the uh, laser cannons. And the extra five points is there. Okay. Are you still doing Mechware like, Multiplayers on Fridays? Uh, usually we have been, and then we're going to be doing it again this Friday, but that's going to be the last one for a little while because we're doing uh, the fundraising stuff this month, which means we're only playing one game. We're playing a different game every day of the month. And uh, next time I'm playing Mechware 5 is this Friday. And that'll be the last time for a couple of weeks. So the damage will be fixed damage will be fixed but now they're all so these bait these builds are basically the same except for the fighters they have well how is this still a five point difference There a because again we have a five point difference with the fighters. Where's the difference? There's got to, this one's got to be losing five points somewhere. Where? There's the heavy ion cannons there. So all his the ah oh, there it is. So this is supposed to be a heavy dual tube laser. So a 10 pointer, which we actually don't have. Mm -hmm. Eh, it's okay, it's not a big deal. Just gotta remember to change it at some point in the future. Okay, so we're still going through and putting hyperdrives on the ships. We got distracted. Uh, hyperdrive here is three points, so one, two, three. We get hyperdrive two. Boss fight. Another boss fight already? I think you need to change the parameters of this boss fight bingo game. These boss fights are happening much too often and the bosses may not be getting paid fairly for the amount of work they are doing. She's right. Anyway. And Valsar, you were wrong. The pinball bar is in Colorado. Is that that's a little far away from you, right? <laughs> Profanity, welcome to the stream. Okay, so we need a everything needs a hyperdrive. Can't do anything else there. been looking for a few hours. No problem. Thanks for lurking. A bar with pinball. I know it's shocking, isn't it, Disparadarn? Welcome back. A bar with a pinball machine in it. I don't believe it. Hey, bag of water. Stretch your legs. No. You have been sitting in one spot for far too long. Oh, that's just a flat out lie. And then you. So you get da, 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 hyperdrive. So this one we're going to increase his cargo holds. And his hyperdrive. So he's pretty much set. Oh, survey. We'll take that. Uh oh, squirrel. Balasar, the only survivor against the squirrel. 
Poor squirrel. Squirrel is number 19 on the bingo card, number 19. Okay, I think we're set. Now we just need to, I don't know how we got back here. Okay, so we have the skill that's supposed to slowly remove these little orange ticks. These are damage mods. And it'll take a while, because only one goes away per month. So it's going to be a little while. And Dispirator started a bingo vote. Go to your bingo cards. Click a number you need. Good luck. Okay. So how much money? We're down to 100 grand. Here are the ships. Uh, down to 1100 supplies. We're okay there. Pilots, no pilots. Okay, well, uh, where should we go? Our fleet is still not super impressive, obviously. We still need a lot more money. We're getting better. Need more commanders or captains, whatever. Whatever they're called. Let's go see if there's any over here in the independent world. They don't hate us. Nobody did hire. Your supplies priced. 100. That's where it's supposed to be. Okay, so Modia, what's up here? Oh, Republic stuff, Fondor. Now there's Kuat. Public, oh, they're raiding that system. I don't, don't care about that. It's not affecting Empire. Some important stuff. So that's our commission. Here's our contact. Actually, I should could talk to him again. He's in this system here, I think. Potential contact for the Chiss. They, oh, he's in here too. Or she. <laughs> the Mandalorians are trying to evade Coruscant. Yeah, good luck with that one. Promotion. Oh, this is a potential person. So, sure. Our operative. We're not really doing much with our operative at the moment. But we have a new commander. We shall mentor you to be aggressive. And you'll get the carrier. Oh, he's got the maneuverability one, didn't he? Um, let's do... Don't really need helmsmanship in a carrier so much, so let's put you in here. Let's see how that goes. Oh, then we have to go back and talk to our contacts and these, I think they're both, uh, there's one in the Empire planet there and then the Chiss is a station on the asteroid belt to the south. Go talk to both of them, see if they have any jobs for us. So we can work our, well we don't really need to work our rep with the Empire so much, but it might be easy jobs, easy money. So you, you have any work. Supplies procurement. I need 100 units of supplies delivered to Coruscant. That's eight year light years away. They're going to pay 18 grand for that. Sure. Surplus heavy armaments. There's a surplus stockpile of 20 units of heavy armaments on Yana. That's 28 light years away. That I can let you have at one. No, that's okay. I'm not traveling that far for something I don't need. 
got another place that is actually near you that has quite a few pinball machines. Go rob them. So give me one of your pinball machines. I'm tired of coming paying a dollar per game, so I need one of your one of your machines. The, the Sirens Exchange, the size we're calling. Is that where I am? Yeah. She's not. Maybe she's in the bar? No, it's not you. not you either. I think they're lying to me about this agent, unless I'm reading it wrong. It's a trader that can be found at Sirens Exchange. It's whatever. If this uh, contact is developed, blah blah stuff. Oh, I have to actually do this first. Ta-da. Helps to read the directions. Now we have to open up there. There she is. Okay, so do you have any work for me? Fuel procurement. Mm, they're paying. Uh, I'm sure that you'll be paid forty-three. Come on, unit. you pansy, okay. get back in there and fight. Surplus transportonics. And it would come out to. She went to a tripod. 81 units transportonics for 63 per unit. If you can help me clear out this warehouse, it'll be in a real favor. Blah. Total price is five grand. You have a hundred thousand. Um, sure. A hundred. Oh, sorry, we don't want to buy supplies from them. How much did I pay for this? Sells for sixty-nine. Not sure. I, I totally forgot we just paid for them. <laughs> I totally forgot. Okay, so um, where do I want to go? So, Port Commander of Ava offered to the Empire deliver 100 units of supplies to Frost, Grimla, and Coruscant. Okay, so just 100 supplies. So we'll go pick up 100 extra here and then go sell my Coruscant. Hopefully, make money. Ninety-eight. Probably not a whole lot of money being made here, but fine. Selling for eighty-nine here. That's the high. Wow, three hundred. Go add a selling for one or buying it for one seventy-three. No, sorry. Yeah, that's what I want to sell. One seventy-three. The reason I want to sell here because these guys don't like us. We have to smuggle them in. That's just a pain in the ass. So it's easier just to sell them right there, which is kind of going in the direction we're going. Okay, so Kuat was where? Right there. And Coruscant's over there. Currently over here somewhere, right? 
this, we haven't been to this yet. There we are. There we go ahead and go out. Maybe there's some decent ships there too that are reasonably priced. Ha ha ha, that's funny. Boss fight. Another boss fight already? I think you need to change the parameters of this boss fight bingo game. These boss fights are happening much too often and the bosses may not be getting paid fairly for the amount of work they are doing. Yeah. Start paying the bosses. They need more money. They don't get paid enough. For the record, they get paid nothing. Get paid less than the pinball machines, yes. Pinball machines make all the money. But they're much less interesting too. What, the bosses? No, they're not. They're much better. How many pin pinball machines do you get to punch? They should get used to They should get used to it? Why? Don't they deserve to work for a fair rate wage? Get to press their buttons. They don't have any buttons to press. Actually, no, they kind of do, actually. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Gimpy's home already. Bosses are just names with no interactivity at, at all. Well, to you, they're not interactive. To me, they are, though. I mean, I can prove it. I can make sure that you never win a boss fight ever again. We can go that route to prove that they're interactive. Oh, look, it's Mrs. Gimpy taking her shoes off in front of the camera. Okay, think of a we started. Let's uh, turn the camera off in case Mrs. Gimpy does something that uh, shouldn't make it onto Twitch. Okay, repair our ship sounds good. Trade goods. Oh, I'm supposed to I'll sell this stuff. 138. So I'll sell those. Made a little bit of profit there. Not a lot, big amount of money, but uh, it's okay. Extended shields doesn't do anything for us. Stabilize shields. Reduces the amount of solar soft flux raised by shields. Generate per second. Does not affect the hard flux generated as a result of shields. Does that even work for the deflector shields? Cybernetic Zealot, though, kill everybody. Good job, Zealot. Cybernetic Zealot is number. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, we already saw him for this game. So, starting to vote. Go to your bingo cards, click a number. Good luck. Oh wow, okay. So a tech tour, only 800,000, a little outside of our price range. Military ships. So basically we have to get up near half a million before we see any ships that we actually might want to buy. There's an interdictor. Praetor Mark II, that's a Super Star Destroyer. Cons uh, consolidator, I don't think that's a no, it's not a super. It's not small, but uh, decent carrier. Okay, anybody here to hire? Administrators don't count. This guy. Here, blah, blah, blah. I know the location of an antimatter blaster. Antimatter Blaster Blueprint, we don't need that. Sorry, Mickey needs his back scratched. It'll be a second. 
Done? Okay, he's done. No, he's not done. Oh, Mrs. Kimpy needs to talk to me. Be right back. So Mrs. Kimpy comes in here, talks to me for a few seconds, and Mickey was still here. So she picks him up, starts giving him kisses, goes, oh, you want a treat? You want a treat? Don't you want a treat? I go, no, he doesn't need a treat. Please put him down. He hates that. She goes, no, he wants a treat. So she puts him down. She goes, let's go get a treat. So we wonder why our dogs are fat. <sighs> I don't wonder. I know. Okay. I didn't have a coruscant. Uh, going to do this mission and we'll be good. Off we go. jump this time. Uh oh. They're gonna try to kill me. Four? We got a trading fleet here though. Haha, -ha, not so brave now. Or, so, we could get into that fight. We should get involved with this fight as soon as our little speed new store is off. There we go. Hmm, are they winning that fight? I don't think they are. They're winning that fight. I don't think the Empire is waiting in there. <laughs> um, I mean, if we come in and we were bringing in some fighters and stuff, but not a lot of guns, but ships. Disgruntled because I didn't get a treat? No, I'm disgruntled because she's not supposed to pick up the dogs and hug them. They hate that. I keep telling her, if you could see the expression on their faces, you wouldn't do that. She goes, they don't. They love this. And I go. No, they don't. If you can see their expressions. They've never liked it, but she thinks they do. I said, no, they don't. They do not like to be picked up and hugged like the way she does it. They don't really like to be picked up in overall. They kind of like to keep their feet on the ground. Uh, let's see. Aren't your legs getting stiff? You haven't moved in quite a while. Yeah. Stretch, damn it, you ignorant meatbag. We'll see what happens. The worst thing that happens, we have to reload. So, join the battle. Oh, we can't bring everybody in. Um, bring these guys in because they got missiles. And how did the friggin' screen change? I hate that button. I hate that button so much. I don't know which one it is either. I think I do, but I hit an accident and it changes the scene. I hate that so much. I wish I could change it. 
but they're not letting us do that with OBS for some reason. Okay, so here's our little friends. Um, you guys escort me for each other. You guys will be fine by yourselves, maybe. Nobody knows how to drive these days. Nobody. going after those guys. Uh, these guys really shouldn't be engaged too much. There's a lot of firepower out there, up there, I think. Oh, that's right, these guys are good at killing fighters. They got lots of point defense. And they got our fighters are destroyed. Oh, he's overextended over there on the right side. Eating him up though. That acclimator is not going to make it long or much longer. It's toast. Oh, look, he's got missiles too. Doesn't matter. Are we winning or are we losing? I can't really tell. Looks like we're might. It looks like we're losing. At least uh, our friendlies are disappearing slowly but surely. Don't 
to down. And Bata started a bingo vote. Good your bingo cards, click a number. Good luck. Welcome back, Bata. Or have I said that already? I think I already said that. Okay, sending fighters after him to help the neutron star there. Lies? Is it lies? It could be. I don't remember. It's been a Today is flying by, so I've lost track of a lot of stuff. Overwhelm their point defense systems. Because there's too many missiles and too many fighters. Although the fighters are dying. And Michael Dark got a bingo. Congratulations. Keep the bingo card up there for more winners. Cheating because he got it before you did. Is that that definition? Of, is that how cheating works? Exactly right. Okay. As long as we're on the same page. The enemy is fleeing. Yeah, I don't think they're going to do too much fleeing here. Form up. So how many of my ships died? That's everybody that's here. So those are mine. I'll try, I didn't bring it bring in that many. So I think we're okay. So those should now well, they have a good chance of escaping over here. That one might make it. Yeah, he's gonna make it. They're gonna make it too. These guys just aren't uh, hitting them hard enough. That's okay. I honestly thought we the Empire was gonna lose this fight, so. They look, looked a little outmatched, or outclassed, ship-wise. I think we turned the, the tide there with all our missiles. Join the pursuit? Sure. Second command can take it. So only two get away. Ship recovery. Ah, an Arquitan. Oh, sorry, Acclimator. Hmm. He's pretty beat up, though. Add him to the list of stuff to get repaired. It's gonna, uh, we're looking at years worth of repair still. So, now. Take some of the wreckage, though. Ta-da. Yes, years worth of repairs, because there's, see the little orange slashes there? These are what they call damage mods, and basically what it means is the ship is taking heavy damage in combat at some point or another. And you can have it removed from the ship two ways. One, you can pay to have it done, which is really expensive, or you can have a skill, this one, which will randomly remove one of the D mods 
on a ship in your fleet once a month. So, three, five, seven, eight months right now to get everything here repaired. If we would have brought that other ship in there, it would have added four months into the factor there. It would have been because it would have been four more months, so a year's worth to get all our ships repaired. So, maybe not years worth of repairs is a little exaggeration, but yeah. No, no, they can fight. It's just that every month, at the end of every month, there's a chance that one of these de uh, damage modifications will be removed once a month. And there's currently eight so in the fleet. So we pick up another ship that has more that's just extending you know, the whole repair process. But they can fight. It's just that they have uh, uh, negative things. Like this one's degraded to life support. So maximum crew capacity is or sorry, decreases maximum crew capacity by 50% and maximum combat readiness by 5%. Supply cost to recover from deployment reduced by 20% though. So that's on that one. And this one has two. So it's got an erratic fuel injector, increases fuel use by 50%, decreases the zero flux boost by 10 seconds, or 10 SU by second, or per second. Uh, supply cost to recover from deployment reduced by 20%. And structural damage. So this is uh, armor rating reduced by 20%, hull integrity reduced by 20%. So, you know, he can fight. It's just that, you know, he's got a little bit of a an issue sometimes. He, it's easier to destroy the ship because of this structural damage. So that's not a good damage thing to have. So, you know, and then the other ones. So you can see there's a bunch of different types. And they all have their own little thing that that, that screws things up. Increased maintenance, so it needs more supplies, blah, blah, stuff. So it's a, it's a neat little system. And again, those are like super expensive to remove. As in, like hundreds of thousands per, hundreds of thousands of credits per damage mod. So it's it's worthwhile waiting the time, <laughs> unless it's you know, unless you're in a, in a rush to get a ship up and running in pristine condition, which it doesn't really matter too much. It depends. It depends on how much you've used the ships in combat, or what you expect out of them. It's over. Here. A Vanitor. Oh, maybe we could use a Vanitor. Oh, we're gonna get a Vanitor. He's really damaged, but that's okay. <laughs> Vanitors aren't cheap, so we'll we'll take it. This one will probably just strip down. Yeah, we don't care about this one. As far as this goes, we're going to mothball this guy though, so he's not eating up our supplies and crew requirements. So the Venator is actually only a. Um, um, uh, oh, he's a capital ship. No, he's a cruiser. It's a cruiser. I thought they were bigger, but this is a cruiser. This is the Imperial Star Destroyer version. Or sorry, the Imperial version. Because it's got black. There's there's a couple of different versions in the in this mod. And you can tell what version they are based on the paint job. Black means they're Imperial, red is the uh, Old Republic. I don't know, if, I think there might be a third one, but I'm not sure. What kind of sh shape is he in anyway? He's pretty stripped. He's missed a lot of weapons. He's got a couple of fighters in there though. TIE Fighters and Reapers. Not horrible. So the, he's got a compromised hull, defective uh, Effective manufacturing, whatever that's supposed to be. Is that the ship thing or fighter stuff? Yeah, fighter related. Glitch sensor array, malfunctioning comms. Is the game hard to learn? Um, it takes a little bit of time, but it's not super bad. It's it's easy enough. Oh, Black Sun has one too. Okay, thank you. And Bowen, welcome back. No, it's not hard. It's not hard to learn. There's just uh, some stuff to learn. That's all. There's a learning curve, but it's not, once you get the basics down, it's not that bad because the more complex stuff is, again, it's later on in the game, I think. And there's some of it you don't even really need to do, like how to build a ship. 
Yeah, they've got pre-built uh, blueprints for for ships. They have what they called auto fits, and they're basically just you know pre-built. So as long as you have the part, well, actually, you don't even need the parts. It'll throw whatever parts are available <laughs> if necessary. Now that feels like it's out of your control. It's not actually. You can control it quite a bit. I just haven't. We just haven't had any a whole lot of fights today to show what uh, control. Well, actually, no. The fight against uh, we just had uh, just a little bit ago when we came in to assist the, the Empire Patrol in that particular fight. We actually had the because I I pushed up the right side of uh, of the of the of the flank, you know. That gave us the the advantage there, I think, because we were able to concentrate our our forces a little bit better than the defense was able to do. And even though the Empire lost a number of ships, we still ended up winning the fight because of that particular maneuver, I think. Anyway, Ogre in a diaper squashed everybody. Ogre is number nine on your bingo card, number nine. Okay, so I headed Coruscant to make a supply delivery. And you. Deliver the supplies. Ta da. Not a lot of money, but it's a mission. They like us now a little bit better than they did. So, that metal. That's military. So this is our oh, how did that end up in storage? Railgun. How do we get a railgun? Who the hell had a railgun? Dun dun. Oh, Valsar started a bingo vote. Go to your bingo card real quick, click a number. He's trying to sneak that in before I noticed. Okay, so supplies here are 130, so that's why they need the supplies, because they have a shortage somehow. We only brought 100. I don't know what the deal is. Okay, what kind of ships do they have? Anything within our range? Nope. Ooh, look, it's a raider. If I were going to sneak it in, I'd wait until you were distracted in a fight. Well, just to let you know, you don't really need to wait for that, because I'm pretty much focused on the game more than anything else, so... <laughs> ah, so the Raiders. These are... Frigates. One medium energy, four small missiles, six small energy. So they're like a little missile boat, kind of like the Marauder for the Republic. Eric Light Cruiser. Six medium energy, 14 small energy. So the Carrick is good at shooting down our or beating the crap out of out of fighters and stuff with that 14 small energy. Six medium gives us a decent amount of punch too against uh, similar size ships. Oh, that's a frigate too. Hey destroyer. bag of water, it is time to take a break. Well damn. Go stretch your legs. Your next break is in two hours. That goes Antis. It's funny looking at the <laughs> is is uh, looking at these ships that we see a lot in uh, X4 with the Star Wars mod, and seeing them only from top down is kind of funny, and of course their size too. It's kind of funny. And with XL Star Destroyers and X4 mod, a lot of fun to watch those main guns just open up. Yep. Especially the the, two, the Imperial 2 with the Barbettes, which they have in this game too, of course. 
if we have any for sale. Oh, they don't have any here. They're 15 point guns here. But they don't have any for, for sale currently. Hmm. Oh, the vanity, we have to get that fixed up. But I gotta take a break first, otherwise I'm gonna forget. So, let me get up, stretch my legs, get some water, go talk to Mrs. Gimpy real quick, and uh, be back shortly. Thank you all very much for watching. Enjoy the dog video.